Right, so the uh, engine bay is looking a bit of a mess. You're probably wondering, what's he up to? Well, the plan is, I've always wanted to run a water to air intercooler system. Um, and I've got some spare money, so I thought I'd make a start on doing it properly. So basically what's going to happen, is if you look at the throttle body there, there'll be a silicon elbow that will come across. Charge cooler barrel will be mounted across here and then will turn into this 51 mil um, pipe. But also what I'm planning on doing is um, this pipe here, the hot pipe, so to speak, I'm gonna put the blow off valve there or in this pipe so that it vents the hot air from the compressor when I'm on bypass. So that means I'm not wasting the charge cooler's efficiency by constantly heating up hot air that I'm not gonna use. So that's my plan, and then that will go around like that, turn, so the, the barrel will go like that, across. Then I've got to have the water lines that will run to it, so that will, they'll stick up like here, and the water lines will go around here, through this gap, and then to a charge cooler radiator, which is gonna be mounted basically where the front intercooler was it will be secured on this still work here the same on the other side and the pump I'll probably mount up here somewhere to get it out of the way so yeah that's what I've been doing I've disconnected most of the uh, intercooler pipe where you can see it all down there um, been measuring things up I've also removed the air pump a bit disappointed really because I was hoping on using the air pumps power supply to do the charge cooler fan on the uh, heat exchanger and the water pump but um, this plug is live all the time so that means effectively my charge cooler pump and fan will be running all day until the battery's flat so I'll have to have a look at sorting something out I might have to have a switch live to relay that I mount here that will um, switch it on as soon as the ignition's on I'll have a look see what I can sort out so yeah just really trying to sort everything out I've measured everything pretty sure everything's going to fit hardest part is going to be when I come to do this intercooler pipe work. I've also um, relocated the supercharger um, oil can. Normally it'd be mounted more sort of pointing this way, so I've moved it there so that it's out of the way of that track for getting the um, the uh, intercooler barrel, the air to water barrel. And just give you an example of what these barrels look like. There's one there. This one's too big, so I'll be to, I'll be selling this on eBay. Um, so you've got your water that goes in there, and then you can see the core just there, and some water pissing out. And as the uh, air goes through, it cools down. The water cools it down, gets pumped to the radiator that will be across here, which will cool it down, and then it will go back in here and just keep circulating. Uh, the idea is that because you've got less pipe work, so literally only have that pipe work there across to here, that the um, boost pressure will be higher, because there'll be less losses, and response will be a bit quicker. Not so um, apparent on the supercharger, because you don't have lag, so to speak, but um, something I've wanted to do for a long time, I quite like the science of speed, kit because it uses a charge cooler so this is going to be a lot of work doing it this way but um, I'm definitely going to do it and I want it it will make the engine bay look a bit cleaner uh, the only issue I've got really is I probably won't have room for the water meth injection so I'm going to have to mount a throttle body spacer on the back of the throttle body which will um, allow me to put the jet in there but in theory with the charge cooler it may well be that I don't need that 
and uh, I can get rid of the meth injection which sort of removes another bit of complexity out of the equation as you can see there's my oil, co oil cooler there um, it's not mounted perfectly but been in since November there's a bit of grime on that fit in there I think it's just weeping a tiny bit but not enough for me to worry about to be honest um, you can see I've used the push fit hoses and as you can see they haven't slipped they still look perfect so yeah I'm impressed with those I think they're much better than AN fittings but obviously it's down to the individual this intercooler pipe will be going so I'll be getting rid of all the weight of the intercooler pipe well admittedly it is light um, that'll all be going and just replacing it with the water lines uh, so yeah, I'm quite I'm quite looking forward to it. The only reservations I've got is whether the charge cooler is going to be up to the job. It says it's rated to 400 bhp and 720 cubic feet. I looked at the specs for the supercharger, and that claims that it can put out over 700 cubic feet a minute. But um, from looking at doing some calculations on the S2000 engine. I think in reality it will be flowing more like 400 cubic feet a minute with uh, 10 psi boost so in theory the barrel shouldn't be the restriction but obviously if the barrel is not cooling the air down enough then this whole process is a bit of a waste of time so we'll have to wait and see I, I've got my fingers crossed worst case scenario if it doesn't work the barrel doesn't work I'll have to change it to a different style but hopefully it will be fine so yeah, I'll be doing this over the next couple of weeks and uh, I'll be doing regular video updates just to show my progress.